Okay, so now it's going to pick up the... Uh... Okay, now you see the, the chip has been picked up. And then also been rotated, yeah, placed to the correct position. And then the... Um, this is the microphone. And then we will see um, how does it... Uh, how does it place? Um, let me see. So we can take the camera and then um, to here. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I will record my DIY projects and also share the experience. As the previous video shows, I have already um, set up the OpenPMP machines and I also fixed the l pump problems. Um, but now you can see this time I made some improvements on the components. So first is uh, this one, the nozzle head uh, components. And before I was using this one, which is a very simple one, and it has uh, the nozzle head is coming here, and then it has a stepper motor here. Um, but then this the problem of um, this one is that um, whenever I set up the the PCB locations, I need to align manually, and this is uh, uh, time consuming, also not accurate enough. Therefore, I um, make an improvement. I bring in the hack, uh, camera, the head camera, um, which is able to look at the PCB and then um, uh, adjust the position or calibrate the position of the PCB and also the rotation. And this one, it has uh, multiple positions. It can move um, up and down for uh, three positions for one millimeter. And the design is actually, I try to keep this camera as close to the nozzle head uh, as possible, to the nozzle tip as possible. Um, and also, um, in previous uh, design, the stepper motor is uh, in the bottom, and now I move it up. And also, then the, the driver, the gear is actually here. And this stepper motor is as a 1.8 degree uh, per step which is uh, not accurate enough. Therefore, I have a 1 to 2 gear ratio. Therefore, in the nozzle head, it can be like 0.9 uh, angle position. So I think that should be good enough. And also, um, I have made uh, some strong, uh, make it a little bit stronger on the side here, just to uh, make sure it, it doesn't uh, break easily. Um, so with this one, I can then uh, calibrate the position uh, a little bit easier. And for this PCB board, I don't have a fiducia um, on board. Therefore, I need to uh, manually align the, or not manually, but use the head camera to align on a couple of components so that it will um, calibrate the position and rotation. And that's much easier than what I have before. So this is the improvement. And then the second improvement is actually for the baseboard. And um, before I was uh, using the separate components like this. So each one I need to mount it to the positions uh, of the printed, printed board. And then of course, every time when I try to switch to 3D printer and switch back, then it's uh, I need to recalibrate or realign all the components, which is not handy. And also the also the the um, holder for the nozzle tips, and this is not so not so handy every time. Therefore, I uh, made this uh, baseboard, and it actually integrates the button camera, and also the holder of the uh, nozzle tip. Therefore, it's in, in one big piece, and also it has the, the component holder, the feeder, basically. Um, this is uh, quite straightforward, and it's in, in one piece, so it will be more accurate. Um, I can also show here. 
So uh, this is the component holder. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a smaller, a millimeter feeder, and then three um, twelve millimeter holder a feeder for each row. So I had three rows. That was so that was like a nine um, twelve millimeter feeder, and then twenty four a millimeter feeder, and for the a place for the PCB and the size here is um, the size is uh, uh, 11 millimeter by 16 so I can actually put my whole hand in there so uh, this space is big enough uh, for me uh, for now so uh, with this one uh, designed um, actually, I think I have uh, enough uh, um, a space for the placement job, and also they are in one piece, so the accuracy is uh, better. I don't have to do a line every time. Um, so okay, now I just need to um, start the start the job. But before starting, I need to um, actually home the uh, nozzle head. So you can see it's, um, it will try to put in the home position first. And then the next step is to calibrate the nozzle tip. And I can just click on the calibrate so it will move the nozzle tip on top of the bottom camera. And what it does is actually rotating like 360 degrees just to make sure uh, it will then capture each uh, angle positions and then compensate for the nozzle tip and after the calibrate the nozzle head should be um, stay within the square box okay so now you can see the um, nozzle tip has been calibrated and I have already put the component into the feeder um, the next step is also in the open PMP software we need to set the um, start position of the components uh, which I have already already done so the next step is I will uh, fire up the job and then um, let it pick up the components and also I need to make sure that the other place component being resetted therefore um, it will place uh, the component that I select so I will go ahead and fire up the placement job so it actually uh, pick up one component as you can see this is a 0201 uh, capacitor um, in fact this is actually the reason why I was uh, making this um, uh, PMP machine from the 3D printer because uh, with, the, with the hand it's hard to handle those uh, very small form factors And now it's uh, picking up another 0201 um, component. And then the next step is it will um, pick up the um, inductor. This is 0402 package, so it's a little bit easier. Now it has to finish all the, um, the components. The smaller, smallest component, so it will switch the nozzle tip to the bigger one. Um, so I have a medium size, so it will switch to the middle one, which is in the, which is the medium size. It's uh, this one. So you can see actually pick up the um, nozzle tip, and then it will do the. Um, calibration as well so it's the same procedure it just rotate 360 degrees in order to um, make sure make the conversation for each angle now it goes to uh, pick up the oscillator um, actually this is the crystal and then it plays on the board okay then they pick up some other components and this is the proximity sensor I think 
Yes. Okay. And then there's another one. Yeah. Okay. This is the uh, battery protection IC. Being placed, yeah. So this is the uh, and then the antenna. Um, right. So now it has uh, done the um, the medium size components. And uh, next is to do the um, the bigger size. So this is the NRF uh, fifty two chips, and also the um, microphone. It will it will also need to do the um, let's say calibration the same procedure. Okay, so now it's going to pick up the. Uh, okay, now you see the the chip has been picked up, and then also been rotated, yeah, placed to the correct position, and then the um, this is the microphone. Yeah. Okay, so now it finished the, the placement here, uh, which is good, and then we will see um, how does it uh, how does it place. Um, let me see. So we can take the camera, and then um, to here. Yeah, so you can see that. Uh, um, it placed the component into the right position, especially those ones O two O one, the O two O one resist uh, capacitors here. This one, and also this one, and this one that looks okay. Um, I think they are in position. Of course, um, this machine's accuracy is a point one millimeter. So it could be a little bit up or a little bit down, um, but of course when there is um, when there's a solda paste, uh, when we heat it up um, through the uh, process of the reflow, then the position will be realigned. So I think it's a pretty good actually, and I have a couple of components not placed yet because uh, it's a short of. Uh, um, components now and I've also not put the solder paste so for the next one I will put the solder paste and then um, mount on the chip or the chip uh, all in once and then do the reflow yeah this is uh, the end of the video I'm pretty happy with the result right now and if you think this video is helpful helpful for you just um, um, please subscribe and then um, I will keep updating um, my projects. So, thank you very much and uh, see you next time.